so fucking precious when you smile. <laughs> yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I lose myself up in those. Nomad Beats. I nearly have 400 views on my Nabushi Nerf video. I thought, cool. you, I thought you had 100 million subscribers. <clears throat> Shut up. Uh, I do. C c can I be in it? Um, go on, what do you want to say? Oh, no, I don't want to say anything. Well, enjoy your video uh, 24 frames per second because I completely forgot to change it when I began and I'm not doing all that again. Okay, so season 5 comes out in roughly 4 days, 3 days, something along those lines. And I want to give my own thoughts on the Nabucci reworks as I've made, what, 3 videos now? This will be my 4th. And I haven't actually spoke about the changes and my own personal opinion other than the description. But I don't think anyone actually reads that, so here's my thoughts and opinions. Let's start with a positive, and I'm looking forward to the kick changes. Now, the kick is now being increased in speed from 800 milliseconds to 600 milliseconds. Which is the equivalent of Nabuchi's top light, fair trade, you know, it's a good buff, I, I quite like it. However, you can now instantly dodge and grab Nabuchi out of her kick, whereas before there was recovery frames, and sometimes you would guard break early, even though the animation was finished, and you would faint it, and the Nabuchi could get a guard break on you. So that was unfair, I, I understand why they've nerfed it a bit. Next, obviously, is the hidden stance into light changes. Now, this is a big one for me because it does roughly 44 damage, and now it's been reduced to 34. This does more damage than any attack in Nabushi's kit. Well, unless she's bleeding and gets a top heavy. It is so useful, uh, and I absolutely love this move. However, I understand why it needs a nerf, especially considering it's a counter attack. So it just implies turtling will win, and it does. Next is the Cobra Strike changes. Uh, you can no longer dash in a certain direction, the same with Sidewinder. These aren't a big deal, but they're there and I'll address them. I think like dodging forward will be good to chase down running opponents. But I see no other use for it. Swift Recoil's getting a rework that actually is useful now, and you can chain it with a Viper's Retreat, making it a lot more useful um, in retreating mechanisms and such. And finally, the zone. Personally, this doesn't really change me as I don't play that much 4v4 and think it's a viable thing to do. If anything, I think it gets you killed in gank situations, especially if you're the one being ganked. These are the majority of the changes, but there's a few others that I can't remember off the top of my head and I'm not reading the patch notes. Um, I have stuff to do this week, um, so I won't be doing any more videos until... I won't be starting any videos until next week, so you may have to wait maybe a little bit longer for another video. You know, I'm sure you guys will be fine with that. Um, I am going to be making my Nabuchi guide again, that is also going to take a little longer and it should be about maybe a week or two after the release of Season 5, depending on how much changes and how the playstyle changes. Finally I want to say thanks for all the support on my uh, two recent videos, they've really done well um, and thank you for that, that's kind of why I'm milking these Nabuchi nerf videos to death. This is my last one, I promise you that. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next week.